Hi everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. So today I'm going to talk about a um, couple of new functions that's been added in version 1941, where I'm talking about um, cloning and removing groups. Uh, it's all related to the group queue. So if you're not sure what the group queue is, uh, then don't watch this tutorial first, watch the tutorial about the group queues, and after that, watch this tutorial. So. Um, I will mention to you about three functions related to the group queues. I'm talking about replace, um, clone, and uh, remove. So uh, what is it all about? So as you know, when you create a group queue um, or group effects, you know that it's all based on a particular group. So as we're expanding the functionalities around the group queues, so we've added um, three more functions. So one of them has been added a few versions ago and uh, two other options been added recently in 1941, I believe. So this is what I'm talking about. So when you have in setup, you switch on one of the options. In my case, in the queue storage, I switched on prefer group queues. If you press shift button, so if you press shift, you will see you have three options here related to that. It says replace group, clone group, and remove group. And I'll explain to you how it works. So basically, it comes from the name. It actually, uh, the magic queue does what it says in the function name. So what it means is, so for example, in this queue, in particular, for example, I'm using, uh, if you go inside view queue, you will see it's using group nine, and effects is using group nine, okay? So let's say in this particular group, uh, in this particular queue, I would like to replace um, the, the group queue and the group effects together from group nine that I've used here to let's say group uh, 12, okay? So how would I do that? It's quite simple. So what you do is you don't select anything here you press shift and here press replace group press replace group and here you choose the original group you would like to replace so in that case is a group 9 and it tells you select group to replace with so for example i would like to replace with the group 12 okay and then it tells you you can specify a particular playback or particular queue or queue stack or if you press enter it will replace it everywhere so let's say in my case i would like to replace it only in that particular playback so i would just click on it okay so press clear so what happens now is when you launch the playback you will see that my programming everything i did here has been replaced from group 9 to the group 7. So if you want to do them individually, you can move uh, only, uh, let's say you can do the uh, group uh, information, group effects, you can choose to the different group, but keep remain uh, like the group queue information to be kept separately, but it doesn't make sense. So it's much easier and it makes more sense to replace them all together. This is why we're using the function called replace group. So what it means, we can actually go back, we press replace group, that one, by using this group and in this particular playback. And you can see it automatically, dynamically updated your playback and you can see it's all working correctly with the centering and uh, with the right color, exactly what I programmed. But let me show you now the next function that I wanted to demonstrate. So replace function, you, you got it, yeah? It's very, very simple. So the next one is, I wanted to demonstrate to you what else I've recorded. So I also have another playback that's just a fan uh, of the colors. So they're all doing the fan effect, like as a, as a fan position-wise. And they have a color that goes from yellow to red to yellow. Okay, so that's a fan on the colors as well. So if you double click and you go to the view queue, you will see the pan until they've got uh, two palettes I'm using, uh, stage right, stage left that I've created. And for the colors, I'm using just the standard colors of red and yellow and I do the fan between them. So in that first playback, I also have got Q stack. So I have the Q stack 
of this group doing the cross on the position and uh, in red color. The second cue you have all the lights positioned right in the middle, focused in the middle in yellow. In the third cue they go uh, in a, like a center front position and they start doing an effect. And then I go to the next cue and you can see the effect stopped and they're positioned looking at the back of the stage. So let's say I've programmed everything that I had in my in one uh, of the auditoriums or in one of the clubs where I had only one, uh, uh, let's say, uh, six fixtures and they were on one truss. But now I'm in a new venue and I actually have got 12 fixtures. So I have two uh, two trusses, but what I don't want is I don't want just to spread it along because the truss can be uh, One can be in the front and, and the second one can be at the back So it could be uh, downstage and upstage trusses So in that case or you're coming on a festival and now you have more trusses. So instead of you um, Like sort of if it was in line Then of course you could just drop all the fixtures in the same group and it would expand like a group cues normally do but in my case i want to copy a clone the data that's coming from this uh, group and i want it to be cloned i mean fully copied onto the second group so of course you can go and do it one by one but yeah who needs that when you can do everything in one go so in order to do that you hold shift or you press shift and then you say clone group and then the console is waiting for you. It says, select group to clone. And I say, I want to clone this group. And I want to clone the data from this group onto that group. For example, the group number eight. So I click on it. And it tells you, would you like to do the specific queue, a queue stack, any playback, or do you want all of them? And I want to do all of them. And I press enter. Okay, it tells you, would you like to clone the group in all queues? You say, yes, please. Now press clear. Now, let's go with our old friend, this queue. So when you do that, you will see that it has expanded across all the fixtures. And if you want to fix it and you want to actually do them inside of each group, then what you do is you double click, go to the view queue, go to the view effects, and you will see here option group spread go here and you do it within group so as soon as you, as soon as you do that then each group is doing its own thing okay so now if we go here into that playback you will see that each of them have done their own fanning and they've done their own coloring fan and they all done within inside of each group for the static loop yeah so again you can see they're using the same cloning and the same angles and the same colors so this is what the cloning is doing and now let's look at the queue stack so let's run the main queue stack okay so again you can see it's cloned the first queue onto the second queue and so the second group let's go to the next group as you can see, it's fully cloned it. So that means if this truss was behind it, you would see it would clone it completely. But when you go to the effects, of course, it thinks that you have all the fixtures together. And again, as already I showed you in another playback, if in the future you want to, when you create an effect, make sure you put effects in group spread within group. That means every time you will be cloning groups, it will keep consistency and it will do it everything within group. So then the last queue is this. So as you can see, it all been cloned perfectly. And then it works absolutely well. So for you to dynamically expand your programming from one trust to the multiple trusses. And now let's say I want to remove the data from my cloning. So whatever I cloned, I actually want to remove the data. So in order to do that, you will just press shift and you press remove group. And the system is going to say, 
which group you would like to remove. I say I want to remove that group. And then it tells you, would you like to remove that group from uh, one particular uh, playback, a, a specific queue, or all of this stuff? And you say all of it, please enter, and you say remove group. So now when you run a queue stack, you will see it goes back to just one queue stack, one group. Same thing here with a circle effect. It only runs on one group, and if you go to the fan, it goes back to just one. Okay, right now, you can do only one by one. So again, you uh, at the moment, as of right now, maybe by the time the, the new version will come out, it will change. But as of right now, as of right now I'm doing the video, you can only, as far as I know, you can select, uh, you can remove groups one by one. And also, if you want to clone them, you, can, uh, you, you have to clone them one by one. But... As you can see, it's it's quite straightforward. It's really really easy to apply, and it will. I'm I'm certain it will help you if you're doing the touring jobs or touring jobs, or if you're doing any jobs where you want to be more flexible with expanding and shrinking the your programming. That's that's all for today. Thank you very much, and see you again next time. Bye.